evening everybody great to see you all thank you for coming back so we're going to be looking at some of the new colors comparing them to others i've still got some of the retired stuff hanging about the, the retired colors so if you guys want to just shout out colors you want me to compare this is going to be an ink comparison i'm not doing a kind of cardstock comparison tonight just kind of like i'm going to be stamping away and then you guys can shout out stuff so let's get down and i'll say a quick hello to people on the live hello mindy hello L lighthouse stamping with lorraine hello mindy b sherry sheila linda monica georgiana debbie melissa judy hello 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 lovely to see you all right desk of yell oh keeps oh that's a bit weird what's my phone doing that okay stay don't be moving around everywhere please behave yourself I've got to have a word with the, the technology. Make sure it works. There we go. Come on. Come on. You can work for me. Come on. All right. Let's get, <laughs> let's get started. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Copper, clay and Cajun craze. Good, 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 good. Right, let's get all the new colours out then. Uh, what's, ooh, where's my wild wheat gone? Oh, there it is. Okay, so wild wheat. Um, yeah, so I think someone asked me to compare Azure with Pacific. Someone put a comment in the... Um, Artful stamping space. So I was sorry. I'm just. Why I don't know why my. You know what? I'm just going to flip back to me because I'm fiddling around with here, and I don't understand why it's being such a pain for me. So like, behave. Just behave yourself. Right. Hello, Glenna. Hello, Candy. Hello, Cindy. All right. There we go. So, copper clay and Cajun. So, just looking at the ink pads, you can see that Cajun is a little bit more red. So... Let's do copper clay first. Pacific point and blueberry bushel. Oh, good call. All right. So let's just see what that looks like. So that's three. Stamped off twice. Three images stamped off twice. Just to see where, where we head with that. I'm just giving my stamp a nice clean. So full strength, second strength, third strength. We'll give it a moment to calm down. And while we're giving it a moment, we'll um, maybe look to something else. Like getting my proper cleaner. I'll get this out. So I know I'm going to be doing a lot of cleaning tonight. Okay, so let's get Pacific and Blueberry then. So Blueberry. And where have I put my... Okay, so retired cups are here. So on the face of it, Pacific is slightly brighter, blueberry slightly darker. Right. Copper clay is pinker. Yes, definitely. Okay, 
Is that specific? This is now blueberry. One, two, three. For me, blueberry is richer. Oh, that's kind of you, Sheila. So if, if someone didn't get that. So Sheila is saying that she ordered two scallop circle punches by accident. So if anyone would like to uh, discuss that with her, uh, drop me an email. I've labelled them wrong. That one's definitely Pacific. Oh, the Cajun Craze one. That one I've labelled wrong. Have I? Oh, okay. Oh, you're right. That's Cajun. Sorry. Okay, so this is basic grey. I'm going to write the name on straight away. And then we're going to compare that with pebbled. So this is pebbled path. Now remember this is fairly juicy though. So, so pebbled is definitely darker. <laughs> yeah, copper clay looks like clay minus the copper. Yes, I see. I see what you mean. Although clay can be quite grey sometimes, can't it? So, so what did you say? Blush. <laughs> Thanks, Mindy. Um, blushing bride and bubble bath. Oh gosh, that's, that, that's there's going to be a definite difference with those two. I'm a true artist, Mindy, that's why. <laughs> Messy fingers all the time. Okay, so that's... 
bubble. That's blushing. Give it a moment for it to calm down. I'm done. Thanks, Ruth. <laughs> All right. Were were there any others? I think it'd be nice for us to figure out Azure. Let's have a look at Azure. Or Azure. Azure, Azure. Aujourd'hui. Good morning, Anne. Pebble looks nicer than black. Yeah, pebble might be the new black for me. Because sometimes I use espresso as black. Or basic grey as black. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I can tell my ink pad is still quite juicy. So that's azure. I like that even though bubble bath is a light pink, it's a solid pink. It doesn't disappear on the paper. Yes, it's not like um, pink pirouette. Pink pirouette was very, very pale, wasn't it? So, yeah. All right, shall we just do some happy stamping tonight, guys, then? <coughs> I came into my craft room early and I, it felt really weird because I've like I've still got boxes of retired re, it was retiring it is now officially retired stuff and um, it feels really strange so I'm gonna I can start properly changing things around I use a lot of deeper darker colors rather than black black could be too harsh yes I agree oh Shaz I'm sorry to hear that is he having a bit of a moment uh i bet as you is the other side of pacific from blueberry yes i'd say now it's calming down um it's just the other side of pacific yeah yeah you're right it'd be interesting to see what on, let's just see what boho is like next to it Okay, we'll wait for that to calm down as well. Oh, boho is more grey. Yeah. I mean, again, give it a moment to calm down and we'll be able to see the true... It's true nature. But, yeah. I'd love to see what Bubble Bath and Pebbled is like together. Should we do something romantic? Alright, I'll, I'll we'll bring that back on in a moment because the boho is just settling in. It's just, you know, making itself acquainted with things. All right, so um, I somebody shared a one sheet wonder on Artful Stamping Space, and oh, if I can remember who it was, let me just have a, I'll just have a quick look who it was, and I really like the way that they stamped roses. These roses from artistically inked. Who was it? It was Matilda. Matilda Jane Holmes. Thank you for your inspiration. I like the way that. Normally when I stamp with the roses, they become like the focal point. But I like that she stamped them in a lighter colour and had them um, semi in the background. Um, and I just really loved it. A good question, Cindy. Which colour would look good when colouring stamps with jeans? Um, well, there's also Misty Moonlight. Let's just bring Misty out. So 
So a dark denim, I would say misty. Got a light denim as your. So you can really tell the difference when you look at the third generation stamp. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Although some of these, I would say, were, are kind of close enough that uh, unless you're p you particularly like the nuance, you could probably get away with using either or. The misty, I go misty. Macaron back on the. Oh, I just found that back on my thing. It's not meant to be there. Okay. Good old soft sea foam. Can't live without you. I'm afraid I've been very lazy and just using, <laughs> reusing a lot of stamps that I've got on my table. Oh, you're welcome. Ah, oh, Nikki, you're here. Did you just arrive? Did, or did you see it from the beginning? Yes, it was your question that prompted me. So um, our friend is still here, I went for a very pleasant walk up to Powys Castle this morning, wasn't too hot, wasn't too cold, and then back to the house and we've, oh I had a little snooze, I had a little mini snooze this afternoon, which was quite nice. I'll take this up a little bit. There we go. That's a bit better. You can see the whole page now, can't you? That's a bit better. Why are you tilting? Why are you tilting over? There we go. clean this hmm. that's a question yeah so then i cooked uh, sort of like a cheaty beef bourguignon i did put look i put about three quarters of a bottle of red wine with some beef and onion and garlic and then we oh and then after it was all cooked i, I cooked it in the instant pot and then after it had cooked, I put some chopped up chestnuts in it. 
which was rather nice, I thought. Ruth, will you have an order of new products soon? Just curious. Um, no. <laughs> Is the answer to that, Melissa? Um, I'm, I'm, I wasn't going to order straight away because I've already spent quite a bit on new colours. So I have all the new colours in stock. And I do have the daisy the new daisy one and i do have some papers and things so i was kind of and and because i also have a few bits that have carried over to the annual from the mini that i haven't like used lots of i was thinking i was just going to tide me over for a little bit for a few weeks and um because yeah i i i I could do with the money being spent elsewhere in my life at the moment. Got a, it's my mother's 80th birthday coming. Now I've got to be careful what I say because she might be watching. But she knows that we are going to be having a meal with close family and friends. And so we're going to be going down to spend time with her where she lives. So obviously there's expenses to do with, you know, staying in places and stuff. So I'm being careful, let's put it that way. You guess my favourites, Melissa. <laughs> yep. Is my mic working properly? Yes. Oh, so apologies earlier. I'm, my mic setting was a little bit lower than normal. I hadn't realised I hadn't reset it after the other night's filming. Okay, so I've just used Lost Lagoon and ooh, let's pop one of these in i think it would be nice to do this sometimes i like mixing line art with solid yes that's lost lagoon and that's soft sea foam okay so I'm going very random today, I'm trying to do something a bit out of the ordinary. Gosh, stamped off. It's so, so pretty, this colour. And the rubber holds so much ink. The red rubber, that is. Right, where do I put my clear? Hello, Lynn. That makes it. Thank you, Melissa. Yeah, because buying all the all the new inks was quite an investment um, because I I hadn't saved any of the colours that had retired and then come back again. I hadn't saved any of those. So I had to buy all those from scratch. So. Right, I have got Sentimental Park here which I'm so glad I bought from the mini. Yes, that's artistically inked. The leaves are sending smiles and that's from Quiet Meadow. And now I'm using, oh, this is so juicy. I'm just gonna do a bit of swishing. 
swishing that over. When your ink pads are super juicy like this, sometimes it's worth just pulling some of that ink over so that it's not so juicy. You just finished collecting them all. Oh, bless you. Oh, I'm sure you'll be able to get rid of them somehow. And if they're fairly new, you'll get a good price for them. Hello, Christine. Oh, good plan them. Well done, Elaine. Bored of them. And it was free shipping. Good idea. Hello, Delinda. Hello, Bev. I can't get on with this little group of flowers. What are these ones? Oh, I Shaz, let me change your mind. <laughs> I love them. Okay, this is kind of like no rhyme or reason really to this one. I'm just having fun playing with different colours. Think my thumb is broken, still 16. Huh? They look like a cluster of baby starfish. <laughs> oh, thanks, Shaz. You spoilt it for me now. I can't unsee that now. Cheers, Shaz. So that's Misty Moonlight just gone on there. And I'd like to see what that looks like with Boohoo. Boohoo Blue. Just got to figure out how this goes on now. Nope. Is that that one? Nope. Nope. Oh, yes. <laughs> Linda's off to add baby starfish to her underwater scene using the flower stump that Shaz suggested. Uh, it's one of those things you can't unsee it once you see it. Right, so a tip for lining this flower up is, oh no, don't do that, don't do what I just did, is you need to look for the flower that has a little bit of a nick cut out of it. See there? And then you need to look for, see that flower, that petal there, it's got a little nick cut out of there. That's the one that you line up with that one. Yeah, me too, Glenna. I like that too. 
We need to convince dear Shaz of this. Yeah, I like that little berry, those berries. I like the fact that they're different f sizes. Shaz, you just have to stamp them in a non-starfish colour. That'll be, that'll be it. You know, like what I've just done. Moody move. And then you'll be fine. You'll unsee the starfish. Ooh, mummy starfish is... Oh, <laughs> stop it. Somebody ban her. <laughs> it's very easy to block people, you know, Shaz. I kind of like that last flower without the second stamp on it. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. No, I did too, actually. But then I thought, oh, I may as well. May as well while I'm here. Fill it in. Although I have had a thought, sorry, going back to Melissa's question about am I getting some new product? Um, once I get paid <laughs> by stamping up for last month's um, commissions and also I've got some, I've got various workshops and stuff coming up. Once I've had some money from that, I'll, I'll put in an order of some nice new stamps. Right. Ooh, 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 what am I in the mood for now? I fancy, I think I fancy a daisy. I know you guys have seen loads of these daisies recently, but why not, eh? Um, mm, 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 mm. I might do a misty moonlight daisy. I think this one's probably a bit too big. Yeah, that's too big. Let's get that one. Now, normally I'd put a mat under here. Shall I get the mat? Oh, they're only here, so grab them. What did Martina say? <laughs> Thank you, Martina. Usually it's Martina that spots the uh, anomalies. Right, I'm going to go for a bit of back to Misty. I'm presuming you've got the, the, the daisy then, Bev. They're from Sending Smiles, Christine. Um, this one.
cleaning again. That's better. Did the one sheet wonder you did with the daisy with white ink? Is your my favourite piece of work of your work ever? Oh, thank you. You put lots of flowers on this one. I have. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. I'm kind of like not thinking about it too much. I haven't compared wild wheat yet. No, I can do that though. Yeah, no worries. I'll, I'll do that at the end. Okay, so I need to do some centres for these daisies. Um... I wanted to keep the whole palette quite gentle, so I'm wondering whether to go um, maybe with Misty. Could do Wild Wheat, actually, because um, I want to start bringing some more greenish tones into it. Okay, and let's bring, I know this might be a bit dramatic, but I think it'll be okay because I'll add some other textures in after this. I'm going to put some large leaves in the background now. Uh, have a big daisy punch. Any idea if the new daisies are similar? No, they're not similar at all. But you could use them with it. So the Daisy Lane, if it's the Daisy Lane one, I think they're drawn, they're sort of this style. It's a great stamp set though, Caroline. Keep using it. Thank you. I like how the boho blue has calmed. Yeah. Yep. Yes, it does look very dark when you initially stamp it, but it has it's it's sunk in and give it a little moment also for the the wild wheat that will that will calm into it as well. Oh, bless you, Shaz. Unfortunately, they they are really taking quite long at the moment in our area. All right, so I said that what I would do is then stamp um, some other kind of leaves over the top of that. So just see if there's a more delicate one. I wonder whether just to put a few more of those uh, sorry, a few of these, but in the Lost Lagoon. Because you can have a bit more control over these thin, singular ones. Oh, 
Haha, <laughs> hello Daisy the cat. So I'm kind of softening the lines of these wild wheat leaves by just stamping some more lost lagoon ones. I'll make sure you ink them properly because I've not been inking them properly. I like your warning. <laughs> Martina said to Caroline, do not use the scissors on Daisy Cat. You can use scissors on the stamps, but not Daisy Cat. <laughs> That's one cat lover to another. Lovely, Len. Stuffed shells, as in pasta shells. I'm going to bring bubble bath back in to do a little bit of colour on, on there. That's better. They don't look so naked now. Oh, Lynn Galvin said that she had shells, stuffed shells for tea, so I'm presuming it's pasta. Pasta shells or taco? Are they taco shells? Right, I think I'd like to stamp some more pink, little pink flowers. So there's that lovely cluster of flowers. And cheerful daisies. Let's go with that one. Oh, take your time, Lynn. But you made eight cards yesterday. That's pretty good going. Oh, Susan had so yes, she was having Susan this uh, surgery this afternoon. I can quickly message her. You bear with. Um, just see if I can. Ah, now she hasn't even picked up my message. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Let me ask her how she is.
Well, I've sent her a message. You're imagining crab shells. Oh. <gasps> you know what? I stamped that in Blushing Bride. I think. Not the bubble bath. <sighs> oh well. Too late now. It's not like I can do anything about it. I'm going to have to do some blushing bride now to make up for it. <laughs> See, it's like a final goodbye to blushing bride. <laughs> what did I stamp? Oh, I know what. I could stamp the other uh, starfish. <laughs> oh, creme brulee. Now, I don't think I'd like creme brulee, but I think I do. I have had it. It's so uh, saffron. Is lemon lolly similar to sa so saffron or date date? Mm. It's like a lighter daffodil delight, but brighter. Oh, right. I've had a message back. Hold on, let me see. Ooh, okay. Just pray for her. It wasn't very pleasant. I won't go into detail, but just to say, it wasn't very pleasant. She is out now, but um, she's got to expect the same next week when she has the other one done, which is not going to be very nice. So please have her in your prayers. Ouch. This is turning into a uh, fill the whole page. I will do, Caroline. Thank you so much. Right, I want to do some more. I don't know, I want to do some more green. Um. Ooh, um. I know what I'll get out. Petal Park, I think. Oh, actually, no. Some dainty delight. Because it's nice and pretty. Oh, you made it 
in the instant pot. Ooh. Oh, Susan, if you're watching this, not on the live. People are sending their love. If Sherry and Elaine message me with their emails or email me to say you give permission, I, I'm happy to pass on emails. This just adds a really nice kind of delicacy. Yeah, I for many years I didn't eat creme brulee because I thought it was like custard. And I don't really like custard, but I don't mind creme brulee. Because I think it's because it's cold, it's it just it reminds me of something like ice cream. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I can cope with that. Sunday. Welcome. Sorry, just moving the light. I love the crunchy top on a creme brulee. Oh yeah. You have to crack it with a spoon, don't you? <laughs> I remember having lavender infused creme brulee at a wedding and thinking that was just delightful. That's very nice. Ooh, tiramisu, yes. Are we talking puddings now, are we? Okay, I just want to add some more little tiny leaves. And I'm going for this one that's in the Cheerful Daisies stamp set. I've got to keep saying the name of this stamp set because I keep forgetting the name of it. Cheerful Daisies, Cheerful Daisies, Cheerful Daisies. I think I'll have to just draw smiley faces on some of the daisies and that will help me to remember it.
I've had lavender goat cheese. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Spaces for these leaves, for these leaves, for these leaves. Mm -hmm. It's all a little bit of a hodgepodge, but I know that when it gets cut up, it'll be fine. Always is. I do feel now I just need to do some little tiny sprinkles of flowers, maybe in Daisy Delight. And there was a couple of little flowers which I haven't used for a really long time, these two, in Quiet Meadow. And I tend to use them just together because when these flowers are so small, it's very easy to get haloing with these. But if you put them together, I find it's less likely to happen. Oh, Eaton Mess. Oh, yes, I I know how to make pavlova now. Would you like a pavlova? I'm doing full strength on these, but I'm doing little kind of clusters of blue flowers. Oh, thank you, Patricia. My granddaughter was saying she wanted fall already. It's my favourite season, but I would like summer first. <laughs> There's new dotage in layering leaves. Yes, yes. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I should need, just order all the stamps that have dotage in to start off with. That would make Glenna happy, wouldn't it? If you put your order in, Linda. Oh, good showing. It's a beautiful cottage garden. It is, yeah. Right, so because I haven't done wild wheat anywhere else, I'm going to do some wild wheat dotage to start off with. And then I may add some additional darker dotage, but I'm just going to put the wild wheat one on first, particularly looking and aiming for these all missed, not missed, moved, whiter areas. So I'm just sort of trying to fill in with dotage there okay that part, I did my pre-order just I'm waiting for a big 
bit like you, my pre-order is big enough, my list was huge. Uh, mind you, you probably didn't have as many returning inks to order, did you? I put a star with your name next to items you liked. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know if she's on here, but I have um, a, someone who follows me. She says she has a Ruth shelf. <laughs> she has stamp sets that um, inspi inspired purchases by me. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to wait for that dotage just to calm down. And then I think I'm going to add some Misty Moonlight dotage now. camera just keeps wanting to move. I think I might have to just get a new home. I'm not happy with it. Oh, ooh, your order should arrive tomorrow. Lovely. Yeah, I think I've got one due to come soon as well. Bits that I ordered in the, um, on the free shipping day. Right, I think I'm done. It is very layered, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But thank you, Matilda Jane Holmes, for inspiring me for this one, of you of using the roses in the background. That was kind of like my main inspiration, really. All right, let's just have a look then at the colours. So, um, I accidentally used Blushing Bride on those roses back there when I had intended to use bubble bath so I've got two pale pinks in there blushing bride and bubble bath then got boho blue uh, lost lagoon misty moonlight it's a bit of wild wheat in there definitely a bit of moody mauve and some uh, soft sea foam so that's the colour scheme, which is really quite sweet. Then, excuse me, stamps wise, Dainted, De oh, Dainted Delight, I just used that bit there, that one. So if you've got any other sort of stamp sets that have got sort of little delicate bits and pieces to it, that's quite nice just to add a whole different sort of texture on there. Sending Smiles used that one and that one that was it really quiet meadow use the dotage and the flowers and the big flower cheerful daisies use a small daisy the small center the cluster of flowers and the leaf sentimental park used those and that one and that was it Oh, that's not too bad. I thought I was going to come off worse than this, but no, that's not too bad. Five stamp sets. So, there we go. Right, let's compare then. So just going back to doing comparisons then. Um, that's going to be my screenshot, I think. So let's compare then. I'll just bring back my piece of paper and let's have a look at how things have calmed down a bit. Um... So let's take a look then at Wild Wheat. Uh, 
then compare that to crushed curry. Just throwing it around. Oh yes, Monica, thank you. The rose from Artistically Inked and the leaf from Artistically Inked. Yeah, so six stamp sets. Right, let's get a lemon lolly and daffodil. So that's daffodil. That's lemon. And this is so saffron. Right, just give that a moment to calm, calm down. So that's crushed curry there. Just wait for so saffron to calm down a bit because so saffron looks as dark as crushed curry at the moment, but it isn't. It really isn't. Um, it's just that that was quite a juicy part of the ink pad. So Lemon Lolly has kind of got the brightness of Daffodil Delight, but it's not as dark. And it's certainly brighter than So Saffron. So Saffron looks kind of dirty compared to it. Oh, yes, yes. OK, no, sorry, I'm just reading comments about emails sending backwards and forwards. If you want to give your email to somebody email me ruthtrice at gmail.com and in your email to me just write the name of the person that you want me to send the email to and if everybody can do that hopefully there will be a great big email swap happening so elaine you email me with who you want emails for and anyone that wants elaine's email email me and i will do the swaps okay there we go sorry yeah if you're not an admin you cannot put links and probably can't put email addresses either and I don't actually advise that you put email addresses on here anyway don't put them in public unless you don't mind them being in public like me <laughs> but that's a bit different um I take on that risk <laughs> right yes yeah, sorry let's go back then so artistically inked I use that flower and those leaves Right. Thank you, Glenna. Yes, my email is ruthtrice at gmail.com. Right, there we go. Oh, I'm looking at this now thinking I'd like to put different, more wild wheat somewhere else. I'm just going to fiddle, just add a little bit more. I just think it's quite dark. Sorry, the wild wheat is quite dark. Thank you, Glenna. Well, thank you, everybody else. You've uh, thanks for your company. I do like these little brushes. I just feel like I'm a bit in a bit more control with them. There we go. Just softens it a little bit.
Oh, really, Martina? Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've still got some little daffodils out at the moment and some little violas, like pansy-like things. Um, the yellow ones have come out and some of the purple ones are coming out. And I went to a plant nursery the other day and bought some little bedding plants. I've stuffed those in ready for the summer. So, yeah, there we go. Right. Take care, everyone. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. And I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Lots of love to you all. So layering flowers on top of flowers is okay. Yes, totally fine. As long as they're not, um, so obviously when I, for example, when I stamp those two daisies, I try to make sure that I didn't stamp those like on top of each other because they're exactly the same colour. So um, just bear that in mind that it's okay to layer on top as long as you know, yeah, as, as long as it's a different colour. Yeah. Melissa has got a question. Ooh. Can you show the cutting possibilities? Yes, I can. And... <laughs> Sorry, this one's a bit messy. So, I'll just come out a bit. So with this one, um, you could cut. You could either cut it into nine like this, or if you imagine these being all one piece, so that would make four. Sorry, three card fronts there. And the other possibility is just to cut, you know, in half and then across like that. But because these are so full. Um, I would probably cut these maybe into eight. Yeah, you could have like just sections. Yeah, when it comes to something like this where it's super full, I'd just use smaller pieces of it. And I was actually thinking it'd be nice maybe to make some kind of little mini album with this uh, and team it up with some other DSP. And let's see if I can find my other... So that's what will happen if you cut it into six. Oh, that's uh, if you did it into three columns. And I can't seem to lay my hands on the other one. The standard one that I usually do. Where I just cut cut it in half and then if you just cover it up it's a bit easier to see. But you see I think that's a bit too busy. I'd I'd actually just use a portion of it. I would just use like a little portion like that. It's kind of quite a random one. So, any other questions? Forgot to add email. With Sizzix folders, would Are you talking about older Sizzix, like the really old Sizzix ones? 
okay 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 everyone else is giving some fantastic tips there so yeah when i try layering it looks a mess um okay just just bear in mind what you're layering on top of so if my general rule is you start with the lightest color first sandy the lightest colors sorry so i did the pale pink and the soft sea foam which you can barely see now actually the soft sea foam and then just then then get darker from there so it may be worth doing some swatching or look at all your colors in terms of light going to dark rather than um, in rainbow order so that you don't use too many dark things together because that's when it can start to look a little bit messy i mean i'm not i'm not completely happy with this it's okay because it's it's full of flowers and it's pretty but there are aspects to this that i'm not completely happy with but hey it's gonna get cut up it'll be fine Right, I'm out of here. Take care, guys. Thank you so much for your company. And I'll see you soon. All right, lots of love. Bye.